This is my second video in my series on how to construct a small desktop orrery from old clock pieces, brass, wood, and a small motor. This is where we had gotten to in the, at the end of the first video. The base had been completed, a motor attached, and mercury was turning. In this video, we'll be attaching hubs to the gears for Venus. We'll then be mounting those gears to the Venus shaft and a side shaft. Here Venus B gear is mounted to the orrery. The design has been completed to the point where we can construct plates to hold the gears in place. This is the Venus plate. It was constructed along with all the other plates from half inch brass strips that were pre-drilled so all the holes would line up. I decided that it would be a nice design element to put rounded ends onto the plates. I spent about two hours setting up the rotary table to cut rounded ends onto the plates and then about five minutes actually cutting the, the rounded ends. All five plates were cut and rounded at once and when completed they looked like that. The first plate was then used to trace out the locations for holes to be drilled in the base and mounting posts were created to mount the venous plate in place. A side shaft was turned on the lathe that would support gears A and C. Here you can see it mounted with gear A. A bushing was added to the venous shaft and the venous shaft was cut to length. That bushing prevents the tube from being crushed when tightening the set screw on the gears. Next we'll move on to a more detailed account of part fabrication. The uh, A and B gears for the Venus rotation are mounted. Um, I have the plate for Venus mounted. Right now I have to mount C and D gears underneath onto these quarter inch shafts that are turned. This shaft is actually the Venus shaft. So I need to make hubs for the two gears that are left, C and D gear. These are each drilled out with a number 18 drill bit. That makes a nice size hole for a number eight screw. I put those through that fits snugly. When I make my shaft, I bore it to the same size. I put a number eight uh, steel screw through there and I solder the, the hub to the gear. Hubs need to be just a shade over a quarter inch for them to meet up with the top Venus plate. So I'm gonna go halfway through at one eighth inch and I'm gonna drill a hole for the set screw. I'm probably face this off first on the lathe to make sure that uh, Oh, I don't that I don't have a, a bowed surface or something. I want that surface to be nice and flat. So I'm while I have it chucked up here, I'm going to put the number 18 drill bit and bore that back just just about a quarter inch or so. That's great. And I'm not going to drill the tap into the hole, but I use I use the mill to make sure it's all lined up nice, the vertical with the hole that I just drilled. So I get I get it started with that before I go to the handle. Should be enough to get me in. Then I switch to the handle to go. The rest of the way through. The side that my set screw will go into. Now I need to cut this hub off. So there's our tap hole. So that screws in there really nice. So now we need to make this a quarter inch on the lathe lay for this cut. There is our hub so far. Now you can see I have a, 
There's a little piece on here yet. Some of this has to be machined exactly because I need a little bit of play in the, in the gear when I mount it. And a quarter inch and that's good. So I want to solder the other side, so I'm going to mark this with a dot. So I know that's the outside. Our gear is ready to be soldered. So clean. There. So the hub's going to go on like that. The flux allows the solder to wet the surface and flow in. Kind of keeps excess solder from getting all over everything else as well. So, what I'm going to do is pin the surface prior to soldering the two pieces together. Use a little rosin core solder to help. You see it nice and shiny. So now we're ready to apply some heat. Now we're soldered, I'm going to uh, clean that brass surface and then we wheel. So this is the com completed gear, the hub attached to the gear. We have our set screw hole threaded. Now we need to bore that hole out to a quarter inch to sort of fit in the shaft properly. This gear is going in this location. So that looks like it's going to line up pretty good on there. We'll see how the plate fits. So we're mounted, I have one more gear hub to make for the Venus gear and then I will be able to do the test on the Venus. And I'm ready to tin the surface of these hub and the gear, the small gear. We have the other piece mounted, ready to go. As soon as this gear is soldered and trimmed to size, Venus should be working. So here's our second gear. We're just going to bore that out to a quarter inch. Okay, we're bored out to a quarter inch. We're fitting the, the hub onto the shaft so that it's just right and tight. Here's our piece this needs to mount to. I do have a washer in between here just for sizing purposes. That is looking pretty good. I'm going to finish the next layer of gears for the Ori. I did put a layer of tape on the wood so I don't get it all full of grease and oil before I stain and varnish it. So I got some painter tape on there. But uh, these are the Venus gears, A, B, C, and D. You can see them there. And if I turn it on, I have two flags kind of connected, one for Venus, one for Mercury. The Mercury one is obviously turning faster.
Mercury goes around about 2.55 times for every one rotation of Venus. So the Venus layer is now done. Next up is Earth and Mars. Stay tuned and we'll do another video for that.